Hey guys, just before this video starts, if any of you guys are looking to buy or sell any cheap Rocket League credits, blueprints, items, basically anything you want, AOEAH is a third party website that buys and sells Rocket League items. If you want to check it out, use the link in the description and use code XYZ on your checkout for 6% off your order. Hey, yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So just the other day, I purchased a titanium white slipstream for, I think it was 11,000 credits. Yeah, it was 11,000 credits. And, um... As of today, I traded for something just as cool. I got the black painted slipstream. Now this thing, I actually really like so far. I, I don't know whether, I, th I think I prefer the titanium white. The titanium white is pretty cool, like you can't beat it. But the black, I would say, is a really close second. Honestly, all I need now is a crimson slipstream, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about the black slipstream. So. Um, I paid 6,000 credits for this. I'll roll the clip uh, of the trade right here. Um, but yeah, I paid 6,000 credits for this. A little over half uh, of what I paid for the Titanium White. So I think it's still a good deal. At 6,000 credits, you know, you're getting a really solid black market. It's, again, extremely rare and hard to get. You can only get it from the Golden Egg 20, as I've kind of proven with trade-ups um, from the Golden Egg 18 series. Despite having slipstreams and hex, uh, you can't get painted versions of them in the Golden Egg 18s, but you can in the Golden Egg 20s, which is a bit interesting. But anyways, you can get these from trading up Golden Egg 20 exotics, or just straight up opening up Golden Egg 20s and, you know, hoping to get a uh, painted slipstream. And, um... One downside I did notice that if you are going to be buying this, um, if you set your secondary color to like titanium or just the white as a secondary, it doesn't really look that white. I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's a bug or something, but like it looks very gray when you make the uh, the secondary color white. So I've just been running crimson on this, but I just wanted, I, I figured I should mention that in case uh, one of you guys watching this is, you know, looking to buy some painted slipstreams and you didn't know about that because that was one thing that, you know, you're probably not going to run white as a secondary now. But I did want to get your thoughts and opinions. Do you think 6,000 credits was a good idea? Because personally, I think with the uh, the Golden Egg item trade-ups that just got released into the game, with exotics being able to be traded up from the Golden series for these painted slipstreams and stuff, there's been a big surge of painted slipstreams. I say surge, but, it, you know, compared to the small number we had before, we have a slightly bigger, less small number now. That's still a very hard item to find, but there is more of them now. They're more common. But I think, you know, for the most part, a lot of people have opened up their gold deck 20s. Um, and now pretty much in the past few weeks, almost everyone has traded up any exotics or imports that they've had up to the black markets. Um, so pretty much all the painted slipstreams on the market right now. I don't think there's going to be many more popping up. I mean... Obviously, there is always the chance that they come into the item shop, but I think if we're talking about the trading market here, I don't think we're going to be seeing a lot more of an influx of painted slipstreams. You know, most people have opened up the crates that these come in, as I've said, and most people have traded up the imports and exotics and all the items that go up to the black market from this. So pretty much what's out there, I'd say, is going to be about 80% of what's out there forever. Like, I, I don't think there's going to be a huge influx unless something changes you know let's say maybe a new gold crate comes out and it has slip streams in it again that'll obviously change things i'm just saying based on the information we have economically speaking these things their supply is going to be pretty uh locked or similar to what it is now forever unless things change so i think based on that information the price over time is going to be going up on these for a very long time uh it's just it's just going to be one of those uh, items that'll slowly gain value over time. It's not going to be spiking up and down, you know, like some items do. I think it's just an item that I'm going to be happy holding for a very long time and just uh, holding on to it for, you know, probably forever. Because I don't think I'm going to sell these until maybe in the future, if they're worth a lot more than, that, than they are now. Um, 
I, I feel like I'm probably just going to end up keeping these for personal use. But I wanted to talk about this. Uh, I wanted to get your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Do you guys think uh, painted slips are a good investment right now, or do you think they're a bad investment? Because I kind of talked about why they could be a good investment, but I, I didn't really talk about why they could be a bad investment. Obviously, you know, item shop, uh, if, if say, you buy five crimson slipstreams because you want to control... Um, a good portion of the crimson slipstreams that are in the game, for example. But then, let's say, crimson slipstream gets thrown in the item shop. You kind of screwed yourself there. Um, that's why I've been only buying one of each. Like, you know, I bought one titanium white. I bought one black. I have a forest green from ages ago. I'm probably going to buy a crimson and a sky blue in the next few days. Eventually, I might go and get the entire slipstream set. But um, the fact I'm... I'm putting on is what I'm doing is diversifying. So painted slipstreams most likely are going to go up in price unless they get thrown in a new gold egg. I don't think that's going to happen for at least a year or two if it does. Um, the only thing that I'm thinking would be the biggest uh, risk factor on these for as an investment would be the item shop. That's why I'm getting kind of one titanium white, one black. I'm going to get a crimson, you know? So that way if uh, titanium white gets thrown up in the shop, I still have the other two uh, the black and the crimson that are still strong in the market, if that makes any sense. You know, I'm um, decreasing my risk as a whole for these painted slipstreams by buying different colors of them rather than buying, you know, all just titanium white, which some people do, you know. Um, so, yeah, that's my thought process. If you guys get a crimson slipstream, uh, DM me on my Discord um, and let me know what your price is. And if it's reasonable and I'm willing to pay it, I'll probably buy it off you. But, yeah. That's it for today, guys. I'll see you next time. Take care and peace out.